Hey, welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. Um, it's your boy Marvin. Uh, we're going to be discussing uh, basically a whatever podcast clips uh, based girl explains why body count matters. And so we're going to, I'll comment, I'll stop the video and comment as we go as I normally do. And uh, we'll see what the video is about. Absolutely. I will always ask the guy what his body count is on the first night of meeting him. You're getting oh. way... They're yeah. going to think you're based as fuck. Like, you're about to get hella points <laughs> in the chat right now for that. I mean, body count should matter. Absolutely. Um, yes. I've, <laughs> I've met men with high body counts. I've met girls with high body counts, you know, and vice versa. Um, I would prefer for my partner to have a low body count. I think it shows that you are picky. I think it shows that you have values and you stick to them because not every girl's going to fit that value and if they did then maybe it would be high but there's no reason for it to be high you shouldn't be sleeping with everyone that you meet so. good I, I think that's a great point she's actually made um she seems to have sort of a um an old-fashioned sort of sense of direction in what she meant i mean if someone come to you and said look i've been with 20 people and they're under your age of 21, 22, you would actually think what the hell's been happening. Even though you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, it still makes you think, am I gonna be sort of the one of um, 2022 or whatever it is? Yes, sir. <laughs> wow, I think that's a first. <laughs> I, think I don't think I've too. ever heard a girl on the panel say that yet. And I don't know, we're probably at like, I don't know few dozen at this point 50 60 70 girls okay um you've probably poisoned the well for the rest of the answers here but okay we'll let you go <laughs> yeah um i don't know it doesn't really matter as much to me i think like as long as it's under like I don't know, 20 25 you're probably chill i guess like like uh, what do you determine what the number is because that varies from, from person to person you know, so how do, how do you determine the number? Penetrative intercourse. Head doesn't count. Like, nothing besides, I don't know, sex. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I so, mean, so your answer is it shouldn't matter? It doesn't really matter, but if it's like re like over, I don't know, like 25, 30 something. That's a like, fair answer. Then he probably has issues, you know. That's a, that's a fair answer. I mean, I'd say like, I'd have to agree with Charlotte. Like, if it's, like, insanely high, and if he's boasting about it, yeah. then, like, that is a red flag. Like... I, I think it depends on the person. I, I really do. And everyone has got a point of view or their own mind to work out what's good for them and what's bad for them. If someone slept with 100 people um, for some reason, and he's got a girlfriend... Then there's fair play because she must see something in that she likes. Whether it will last or not, we're not sure. If someone uh, basically has slept with two people, it doesn't always mean that relationship is going to last just because he slept with two people at the end of the day. I just think it's on what you think of that person and whether you can trust that person in honesty, whether they're going to be faithful to you. Uh, this is how it runs in, 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 in my mind at the end of the day. But obviously if someone's constantly out there, uh, mid twenties, thirties, racking up um, body counts, then obviously uh, there's definitely some stuff to think about there. I mean, if you're gonna sit there and tell me that it's like, oh, like I fucked like 30 girls, I'd be like, I don't, like, why do you wanna like brag about that? But I mean, like a high body count, I mean, I really don't care, but like at the same time, I. Do. Yeah, and like you can't really judge them. Based yeah, on like I don't really want to judge them based on what their body count is because they could probably be like a really good. Like I've met really really good people, and I've had like things with people who are like with guys that have treated me really really well, but have a high body count. So I don't think the body count really like defines a person. Tilt you know, the microphone down towards you just slightly. Like this. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I just, I don't think the body count defines who a person is. I do want to clarify the question a little bit. So it's, it goes both ways, right? Yeah. So do you think body count should matter both in a partner you're looking for, but also for men, if they're judging you based on that? I mean, based on the chat, I mean, like, yeah, like. Uh, 
before she talks, I think men do judge um, women on who they've been with. Uh, they just do. I don't know why um, that scenario is, but they just do. And it will make them think, 100% make them think differently um, about a woman. But, you know, sadly to say, with a man, if he has had loads of women, at the end of the day, he tends to get a um, uh, st stud status, um, should I say. And it, it shouldn't always be that way because it should be on personality at the end of the day because you do get a lot of um, men sleeping with a lot of women at the end of the day and they just do it for enjoyment and not really don't care. So it, it's, it's, it's about both things. Men definitely, like if I tell them my body count, like apparently nine is a really high number. So, I mean... But what's an objectively high number, though? An object that goes back to like what I was asking before. I guess it, it just like depends. Age, too. I, I would have to say it depends on the age. Like, if you're 18 and say your body count is 30, oh, I've, got a I've got a couple questions. Right. <laughs> I've got a couple questions. But I'm only 21. I'm My body count's nine. Like, it's... It's not, like, excruciatingly high, but apparently at nine is too high. It's gross. Apparently, to some people, it's Some different. of these are trolls. Some of these are serious. Yeah, but some of them, like, I really don't care what they say, but it's, like, I don't know, like, because I know I'm... I do think when a young college is going to get experiences at the end of the day and looking um, for the right man or for the right woman, I don't think that's reasonably high. Um, just say, for instance, you know, she started having boyfriends at maybe 16, 17. Um, you're talking probably five years experience, you know, at the end of the day. I, I don't think that's drastically high, to be honest, for someone at 21. I wouldn't judge her. I wouldn't judge her on that. I'm not like sleeping around, but it's like, I don't know. If people think that nine is too high, then like, okay. But like when they meet me, they'll be like, oh, like body count doesn't have a problem. I, you know, I think relatively speaking, I think nine living in Isla Vista is low. Yeah, I would because have to Because I know girls that their freshman first quarter, is it quarter or semester at UCSB? Quarter. 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 First quarter, 20 guys. Yeah. 18 years old, 20 guys, first quarter. I know guys that like will have like... I agree. That is probably a number when you're at college and you're experimenting and you know, you're finding out about your body and other people's bodies. It's an experience um, to some people, but you, I think the older you get, you have to treat that with respect, especially if you want to see your risk partner. Um, but I do think uh, uh, it, it does count. Um, especially when, when you want to be serious. If you're having fun, not so much, but when it does get serious, I think, um, especially a man, will turn around and think, well, is this going to be good for me if she's been out with, tw um, you know, she slept with 20 or 30 women, am I going to be 21 or 31? Um, it's seen differently. They'll, oh, guys too, guys too. Yeah, they'll fuck girls, like, they'll, f I know someone who's like, fuck the girl, like, fuck four girls in one night. Whoa. What, four girls Dude, in one night. I mean, insane. and it's like, are, am I gonna do that? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't. My anxiety does not let me do that. Well, I don't even think that's like really. I don't want to say sanitary, but that's just like kind of gross. It, yeah. You know what I, mean? I mean, like it's just like, ugh, I don't know. That's yikes. But I'd say nine at twenty nine is high for sure. I mean, I guess nine at twenty nine is high, but yeah, I don't know. That's just my opinion on it. I mean, for me, it does matter, especially I'm looking for a partner, uh, someone who I want to date, like in a relationship with. Uh, I do think, um, I don't know, like I do think if you have a high body count in a young age, it means it shows like maybe you're into like casual sex. and people who are really into like casual sex usually can't make like genuinely connection with others and um yeah i just think personally for me because i'm always like looking for something serious so i won't date anybody who like really into casual sex and stuff yeah same same word like i said last episode like at the end of the day everyone wants want to be loved 
Yeah. I agree with that. I think she's made a valid point there in, in what she wants because I think a lot of young people are not looking for anything serious. And if they are um, serious about it, they make their intentions um, known um, pretty quickly at the end of the day. But um, it sounds as though she's got her head together. Yeah, I think like the real feelings is the most, like it's the priority, yeah. Yeah, I do not care at all. Like that's your past, that has nothing to do with me. Like if, like Lou said, if you're bragging about like your body count and how many girls you've been with, then that's like, that's just icky. But like, I don't really care. Like, so what, like you like to have sex, that's fine. Like if yeah. you, I think like to me, if there's a red flag, it's gonna be like something in his personality rather than just some number that's attached to him or her. Like mm -hmm. I just, I personally don't care. Yeah. Blair, so uh, yeah, if you ask, should we me, take the crown off, by the way. I mean, do you think? If, if the chat wants, to, yeah, oh, yeah. Wait, let, should we leave it to the chat? Chat. Yeah, if chat, let us know crown. if you want me to keep the hat on. Yeah, your name or the, or the crown. Okay. Um, yeah. So, if you asked me this question maybe four or five years ago, I'd have a really different answer. Um, I kind of lean towards no, but sort of yes. Um, that's something I actually wrestle with quite a bit. Because I don't know what an objectively high body count is. So, like, if somebody told me, hey, like, I've slept with 20 guys. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know if that's high or not, right? Um, and, and some might say that a higher body count is reflective of who you are as a person. I don't know if I fully agree with that, but um, sometimes it can be. So, I, I'm kind of ruling the middle on that issue. Um, I th oh, is this for Natasha? <laughs> is that the real one? Uh, Andrew Tate, I'm flying Natasha to Romania. Pack your bags. I'm ready, Tate. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, so do you, do you you know who Andrew Tate is? Of course. And do you like Andrew Tate? I don't hate him. I don't, don't dislike Andrew Tate. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Her DMs are open. Um, <laughs> Interested, Andrew Tate. Uh, turning up at the end of the day, do you know what I mean? I mean, this one here, this lady here, she has got a uh, head screwed on, um, I must admit, uh, at the end of the day, do you know what I mean? But um, uh, that's going to be interesting to see uh, if uh, Andrew does take her up on um, uh, going to Romania. Is that no, the way I Andrew? think it was just a poser guy but <laughs> that okay so I think that was just only a joke to be honest with you your your guys's answer very different body actually, count that we've question had. i mean i think over overwhelmingly most of the women say oh, body count doesn't matter not at all shouldn't matter at all and they get very defensive about it i think maybe it's because natasha she was the first one to answer so that might have poisoned the well i guess that's the saying <laughs> but um Anyways, I, I'm very impressed by your guys' answers. So, yeah, I, I do think body count matters for a variety of reasons. Should we go reasons. around and continue the body count and ask everyone? What their body Should count is? Should we continue that? Is that? <laughs> yeah. Should, we could. I already said mine, so. <laughs> uh, sure, why not? Natasha? My I'm just starting count to pot. three. Three, okay. Yes. Um, my body count is 13. My body count is nine. My body count is two. Uh, mine's six. Uh, guess. Okay. That's pretty average, um, to be honest with you. That's, um, I, I mean, you could, people say you could 30 is not high, but I don't think it's high these days, to be honest with you. I think anything over 20, 25, you've got to start. If I was um, uh, 20, 21 again, and uh, someone told, some woman told me that, um, she slept with 20, 25 or 30 guys. I, I have to question myself whether that's going to be a girlfriend and probably vice versa, you know? That's how the world works. <laughs> uh, Blair, your body count is seven. We said it, you have to say it. Or wait, 11. Yeah. 11. I want to say 11. Two. Oh, wow. And my body count is, I'm omitting this... Question. I'm not going to answer this question. That's actually interesting because... I feel like a, you should definitely A few it. of the podcasts ago, they say it doesn't matter. But if it doesn't matter, then why don't you want to answer the question? Right? Because not everyone needs to know my business like that. And that's true. And that's true. Well, they all answered. So first off, props to you guys for <laughs> answering the question. Thank so. you. P. 
People but, will uh, judge. I'm but a man it's of fine. God, so I cannot. <laughs> I, I refuse to answer that question. That's the end of the video. So I think it was quite mild. And to be honest, it was nice to see a very, very honest podcast and no one getting um, really, really triggered. Um, I do think it matters body count, especially I think when you want to settle down with someone you really, really like. And then you hear a story, he or her has slept with about 30 people. You do question yourself, it will be back on your mind whether that person's just using you um, for one thing or is it genuine? Hey, so everyone's got their own feelings and thoughts uh, about this. Let me know what you think on whether um, 10's too high, 20's too high, 32's high and what's your limit, boys and girls? You take care and don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment and leave your messages and I'll come back to you. Thank you. Take care yourselves.